Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And this kid decided, you know what, why not? Let's go, anyways. We're, we're, we're going for a road trip here. And we're, we're just YOLO. Undertale. It is finally here. What is up, bros and broskies? How's it going, everybody? Beast Mode Guns here, and we are finally getting into Undertale. This is delayed by like three weeks. I am so sorry for the delay. Uh, I was just. I just. My motivation thing dropped again. Y'all know that usual excuse. I play that card like every other month. And, uh, yeah, but holy fuck, we are finally here, and has it been a long time coming? I am genuinely looking forward to this shit, of course. That is, I can't, just because I'm, uh, really motivated to do this shit, I can't guarantee my, uh, frequent upload, because we all know how, uh, trustworthy I've been about that, but, I can assure you, though, I'm gonna have fun with this series the best I can. I am gonna be playing with a keyboard, this is going to be the pacifist route. And yeah, we are going to get into this shit. Name the fallen human. Ah, oh, come on. We gotta go with the true name. The one and only. And it's not me. Kara. We gotta go with that cannon stuff. I'm sorry. I I, I really love the under... I just... I'm into the Undertale can. So let's just get into it. Yes. Kara. The true name. Alright, so here we go. I am gonna try to do some voices, but I haven't practiced in a while, so... Stuff's gonna be pretty bootleg, and here we are. Welcome to the underground. I right, hear we are. Let me check my menu items. I don't got no items. I get my stats, all right. And I'm Kara. I like how it's in quotations. All right, so here we go. We are gonna get this shit started. What awaits us? Let's find out. Hello there. Aren't you a lovely looking fellow? Let's see what you want. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. <laughs> Why'd you make me introduce myself? Oh, actually, uh, I actually, uh, did, uh, start once on here, but, uh, just to do a test recording, so, uh, yeah, the core here's a bit different. It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. So, yeah, I actually know this is Flowey, and my voice acting for Flowey is going to be bootlegged. Somewhat I teach you proper manners. I guess little me wants to. Oh, so he's going to teach you manners. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I don't know how I feel about this, Flowey. I think Admiral Akbar is, uh... Growing suspicious, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? No, I am not. No, 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 I am not ready. Move around. Guess what you can. Nope, I don't want this shit. I don't want this shit. Oh, distorted. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try that again, okay? Nope. Still nope. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Friendliness pellets! You crazy mother! Uh. You know what's going on here, don't you? Oh my god, Flowey. Flowey. 
we, we could be cool here. I'll, I'll walk to the front of this pelt. Just don't murder me. You just want to see me suffer. Uh, what? Bullshit. Okay, you call them that bullshit? Uh, get them hands. Oh, Jesus. Die! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Flowey. Nope. Nope. Flowey. 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 No, we can be friends here. Come on. I'll pay you that gas money. <laughs> oh. Get dunked on. Wait, shit. God damn it. Spoilers. Fuck. What a terrible creature. Torturing such a poor innocent youth. Also, my Toriel voice is going to be pretty bootleg because, I mean, you know, my, my, my voice is, is unfortunately kind of, it's kind of deep, so it would be hard. Uh, hold, I'm just turning down this volume a sec. I'm not sure how loud it is, but it'll just suck if, like, I record this whole thing. Y'all can barely hear me. So I just turned it down a little bit. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Where were we? All right. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You were the first human to come in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Ah, oh, this is Goat Mom. <laughs> Hell yeah. This way. We doing this shit. I. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Alright, we are into this. Alright, we're gonna walk over this way. I don't know what I'm doing. And this is just the epic shot. I am so glad to finally be getting into this. I'm probably gonna actually spoil some shit, because again, this isn't a blind run, unfortunately. I wish I could go back in time and make a blind run out of this, but that's not the case. Let's see what Goat Mom has to say. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. Just look, like, she knows how to operate puzzles. Like I'd be doing that shit, I'd die on like the first lever, the first button. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Hey, yeah, it's pretty good. To make progress here. You will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Let's see what these signs say. Press Z to read signs. Yeah, no shit, that's pretty helpful. You know, I'm sorry, I need to turn in this volume a bit more. I'm just, I'm just kind of nervous. That shit might not go as like intended. Or something like that. So, uh, yeah. I just want to make sure that's all squared away. Alright, let's see what this sign says. Stay on the path. All right, I got you. The first switch is over on the, over on the wall. All right, we're gonna hit this switch. That was switch. That I'm not talking about the Nintendo Switch. Goddamn, I was about to make a horrible pun. And now we're gonna make this switch. Splendid! I'm so proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. Yay! We get to move on. This switch doesn't even work. Leg ass switch. Gotta fix that shit. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Okay, you know, Toriel, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but... I'm really not dumb. I know that doesn't do anything, but you know I'm a nice person. I want to be a pacifist child here, so I'm gonna do it anyways. Please don't judge me. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Okay, that's simple enough. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start for simple how do you do. You can ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. <laughs> hey. Nice one. Well, I thought it was amusing. It really is. No, don't get me wrong, it really is. I'm I'm sa I'm savvy to a good pun. Even a bad pun. Alright, let's do this shit. You encounter you encountered the dummy. Let's see, what can we do? Alright, check I'm gonna check that motherfucker. A cotton heart and a button eye. You're the apple of my eye. Uh, that's... Yeah, this dummy ain't got shit to say. Rude-ass mofo. 
dummy stands around absentmindedly. All right, we're talking. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Well, screw you too then. I was going to tell you about this uh chick about how I went to see uh that Chick-fil-A yesterday and how I uh, picked and how I ended up finding like a $100 bill on the ground, but fine, I don't need to tell you that. Toriel seems happy with you. Thank you, go That's good. Ah, very good. You are very good. Thank you. All right, so yeah. There is not a puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. But I'm trying to stay like pretty simple-minded about shit. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's what this was about. Okay, I see it now. Hey, hey, the first frog. Frog it attacks you. Hey, hey, frog it. Let's see what we can do. Check. Frog it. Attack four. Defense five. Life is difficult for an enemy. That sucks. All I did was... Aw. I didn't even get to compliment it. Screw you, Toriel. Toriel's just like mean mugging it. Poor thing. It, it just wants to be friends. I want to befriend it. And you just come over here mean mugging it, Toriel. See what you do? You scared off my new friend, Goat Mama. <laughs> what? Dang it. Oh, well. That sucks. I, I just hope to check in and like... Well, whatever. Oh, I want to see that sign. Hold it down a sec. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Ah. Well, if only. Oh, I can't go past you. Alright. This is the puzzle. But. Here. Take my hand for a moment. Ah. This is sweet of you, go mama. Thank you very much. We're getting through these runes nice and simple. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Well, we got through alive, so that's a good thing. You've done excellently thus far, my child. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Mama. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. What might that be? I would like you to walk down the room by yourself. What? Give me this. Ma, boy, go, mama. Wait, Toriel, Toriel, where are you going? We can talk this out. We can talk this out. Don't leave me. You, you have my Tor. God damn it, Toriel. You have my gas money. I could have you have my gas money. Look, you, you, you can keep it, okay? Just don't leave me. Don't leave me. I'm coming for you, mama. Go, mama. Just. Ah. Help. Help. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so lonely. I walk this only. I walk this only road that no one ever. Fuck. I already fucked up the lyrics. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Ah. Uh. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. Goat mama, you're dead to me. You're dead to me right now, Toriel. You done fucked up. You're dead. You done out, out of this house. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. You don't say. I still hate you right now. Thank you for trusting me. I didn't trust you to begin with. You just, you, you just ran off, made me walk through a hall on my own. I had to walk this lonely road, you know. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, you don't say. To test your independence. Yeah, I, I, I came, I, I came, for the record, I would just like to point out to you, Toriel, that I came to the underground on my own. I, I, I fell for the mountain on my own. I'm pretty sure if I can do that shit, survive and just get back up, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, not to mention encounter a deadly flower on my own and survive, thanks to you, of course. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty good independent. Thank you, Toriel. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Why do you do this to me? Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be Fug Life. I'm the Frisk. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna spoil it out there right now. Uh, this main character's name is Frisk, and the name I gave and the name I gave the character, the other character, for those of you who don't know, is uh, well, it, it, it's for something else. You'll see it later on. Oh wow, she's already calling. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It'd be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Yo, know, I'm gonna call Toriel. Why not? Let's do this. So, I'm gonna say hello. <clears throat> this is Toriel. You only want to say hello? Well then. Hello! 
I hope that suffices. <laughs> like, alright. We're gonna keep going. Let's see what else we can do. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. I'm gonna tr Oh, damn it. You know what? I'm gonna call her mom. I'm gonna. Well, I already been doing that the whole time, so why not actually tell her? This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mada? Pollen, call me whatever you like. Ah. It's getting good. Huh? Oh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. Ah. Uh. You can certainly find better. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Don't down talk yourself, Toriel. Come on, you're better than that. Alright, let's see what's in here. First, I want to talk to this frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. Uh, I, I, this is going to be horrible, but I'm just going to do this for, uh, for a frog because it's just what I think of for a frog. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human ribbit. <laughs> That's why it just goes like, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna take some candy. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes, please. You took a piece of candy. I wanna take another piece of candy. Take one. Take a candy. I took more candy. How disgusting. So I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm gonna take one more. Take one? Take a candy? Yes. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Yo, know screw you. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Kara. All right, so we're making some decent time in here. Oh, hello. Whimsome approached meekly. I want to counsel it. Halfway for your first word, Whimsome bursts into tears. Oh, I just want to help. Well, you'd have to be that way. Alright, we're moving on then. But yeah, there's just a lot here. I'm, I'm not really talking too much because one, I just don't have a whole lot to say. And two, do just do the fact that this is, this isn't a blind playthrough. I'm just slightly worried that I'll spoil stuff, so I don't want to talk. I don't want to you know, just get carried away. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, shit. This is clever, though. I have to admit, this is clever. Makes you think you. Hello. Another whimsome. Check. I'm gonna check it this time. Five attack, zero defense. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Forgive me. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I didn't have to do anything. Whimsome continues to mutter apologies. Oh, don't worry about it. Halfway through your first word, Whimsome bursts into tears and runs away. You won. Oh my god. Come on, Whimsome. I only want to help. You don't have to do this. Rocky. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I actually haven't had any cinnamon or butterscotch before, so I'm just gonna go with butterscotch because that just sounds the better of the two, personally. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. But yeah, like, I, I just wouldn't be able to make a decision on that. Let's. Eh. Ah. Dang it, Toriel. I only moved like one step. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way... Oh, by the way... Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them! Why not all four? That sounds like a rocky, uh... That sounds like a rocky situation. All right, we're pushing this one, and we are moving. Hey, oh, a froggit! Froggit hopped close. I'm gonna compliment you. I already checked you earlier. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Watch it deeply. Ribbit. Ah, move. Ah, ah, bad little flies. Okay, I need to move them. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. I want to compliment one more time. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Ribbit. 
Ah! It was an ambush! It was a trap! Alright, we're gonna spare you, Froggit. Woo! Two gold. Alright, we have spared our first monster that has given us gold. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can... Ah! Ah! Let's see if I can get this. Woo! 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 Oh my god, I got it on the first go. I mean, I know this is a... Alright, you know, I, I wanna see what's over there. I wanna see what's over there. Oh, shit. Another Froggit. Alright, we're just gonna spare you. Froggit didn't understand what you said. A bit. Aye. Ah. Woo! It's like the Matrix and stuff. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Actually, I didn't have to! I just kind of guessed. And for the record, no, just because this isn't a blind playthrough doesn't mean I remember every little thing. Uh, I actually, this is straight up just luck on the very first go of this particular platform right here. Alright. So yeah, for this episode I'm probably going to try to go for the whole ruins. Alright, you know what? We're going to push this. Hey! A pair of frog has hopped towards you. Frog at A. Frog at didn't understand what you said, but it was flat. Anyway, you know how it goes. Ah! 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 Bad flies! You intimidated by Frog at's raw strength. I am? I don't feel too intimidated. Just very scared. Ribbit, ribbit! Ah! I am the Matrix! I get to spare them both. You won! You earned 0 XP and 4 gold. Alright, we're gonna push this rock. And we'll push this rock, and this rock. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Uh, I'm... Huh? You're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Oh my god, a rock called me pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? You stupid rock! Huh? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Hey, thank you. That's pretty good. Was that helpful? No. <laughs> Get back here. Huh? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. And the rock just pushed me. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Uh, probably. You really give me a hard time there. Just go with that. Frog it and Winsome drew near. Ooh, it's the tag team. Frog it, I'm going to compliment you first. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Give me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, shit. Uh, dun. Okay, this is a tough combo. I want to counsel Wimson. Halfway for your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Uh, what's that? Oh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm going to use a candy. I am very... You just... I, I'm, I'm not... I don't know. I'm just like... I guess I'm going to let my guard down. You ate the monster candy. Very unlicorous like. You recover 10 HP. Alright. Meow! <laughs> My god. Froggit's part cat. Froggit's part kitty cat. Eh. I like that. Well, that's just funny. Well, save point. Let's see how far we're in. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. File saved. Hey! Little mouse hole, little mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. Hey, uh, hey, okay. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. I'm just gonna double ch make sure I've saved you. Know, I'm just gonna double save. And yeah, I'm just really glad to be here doing this. It's like, just words cannot express. Oh, there's a ghost here. Let's see what I can do. Just go with a snore. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly. Oh, Z. -Z, 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 -Z. Pretending to sleep. Went with force? Sorry, I have to do this ghost. Here comes Snapsabluke. Holy crap, we're doing this. Snapsabluke. Check. Snapsabluke. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh, uh, 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 u
really not feeling up to right now. Sorry. Ah, oh, come on, you can do it. Still wishing I weren't here. Cheer. You gave Nasty Look a patient smile. Huh. Ah. Uh, 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 ah. Uh. Dang it. Nasty Look looks just a little bit better. You told Nasty Look a little joke. Ah. <laughs> uh, hey, he's, he's not really attacking as much. Oh, never mind. I am getting wrecked. Cheering seems to improve Nasty Blue's mood again. Let's keep cheering. We'll help you pretty good. Nasty Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blue. Do you like it? Luke eagerly awaits your response. I'll cheer him again. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Yeah, you are alright, Nasty Luke. Ooh, what's in here? Hold up. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. I want to see what's over here. Alright. Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 10 g 7G in the web? Sure. So spiders crawled out and gave you a donut. Hey, that's pretty cool. Thank you, spiders. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders of spiders. Let's do these frogs to say. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip from my words by pressing X. Uh, I want to press X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Eh, no problem. I, I hear ya. I'm here for ya. Also, did we? Oh, no, I already read that sign. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are only three frogs, and maybe, maybe it counts for the... Maybe it counts for the uh, f frog that you meet early on. Ribbit. Ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful, human, for a human. Surely you know by now that monsters can... By now, a monster... Fuck, I can't speak. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's pretty helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing a monster is just saying you won't fight it. Maybe one day you'll have to do it, even if their name isn't yellow. Ah, uh, will I? Hope not. Oh, hello there. My gosp and my gosp crawled up and uh, what's what the what's that thing? Uh, mold small. It's good old mold small. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this first. You lie down in mold mold with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Burp, burp. Heed the swan. <coughs> oh boy. This is great, my throat. Old small purples quietly. I'm gonna flirt. You wiggle your hips. Old small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation! Obey the overmind. Oh, this uh, that thing over there, that that roach-looking thing. Oh, sorry, I, that's kind of rude. Uh, my gosp. Uh, he, he has something interesting going on. I'm gonna flirt, Mold Small good. You wiggle your hips, Mold Small wiggles back. Okay, that's all there is to do. Legion! We are Legion! Hey, ah, 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 ah. Mold Small burbles quietly. All right, time to work on my gossip. I'm gonna check you. My gossip! It seems evil, but shit's with the wrong crowd. Obey the overmind. Aw, uh, fucking Mold Small there giving a sexy little wiggle. Sick little thing. The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. I don't care. Why? Multimall is ruminating. I'm going to try and talk to my gosh again. I don't care what. Oh, do I have to Do I have to get rid of Do I have to uh, spare Multimall first? Nothing like a long time. Oh, all right. Hey. That's pretty good. Okay. My gosh does not have a care in the world. I want to talk to you. Hiya. Alright, that's cool, I see. Alright. 
points. I'm gonna spare. You won. You earned zero XP and three gold. Okay, I let that battle draw on longer. I'm like a pleb. Hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room your pockets for that. Yeah. So far, so far we're carrying two pieces of candy and a donut in our pockets. Speaking of, I want you, I need a, yeah, I'm getting another piece of candy. You ate the monster candy. You recover 10 HP. Alright, let's see what we can do down here. Hello, what are you? Oh, hello, what's that? A little, a, a carrot demon? Uh, Vegetoid came out of the earth. It's Vegetoid. Woo! Check. Vegetoid. Attack 6. Defense 6. Serving size. One monster. Not monitored by the USDA. I, I, I'm not gonna say this. Farm locally. Very locally. You don't say, oh, I see corn. Corn on the cob. You cackle softly. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. You're not pretty hungry. Eat your greens. Let's see. Woo. Vegetoid. Vegetoid gives him a very mysterious smile. Can I devour? You took a bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered 5 HP. Woo. Okay, I think I scared the thing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure it's slightly scared now. I just want to go for each of these little rooms. Oh, hello. On our Vegetoid. Alright, we're just gonna get right into this. Yeah, greens, eh. Hey. I'm half tempted to like cut out some of the little grinding here. Just to make just to make more time in the video. But we'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh wow, wow, that's well time. What is this? You found a faded ribbon. Oh, have I? That's cool. I'll check it. Oh, so, faded ribbon, armor armor. Armor Defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. See, I will be the cutest child. You equip the ribbon. Oh, it's Napsablook. How you doing, Blookie? I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Oh, I just disappeared. Crazy fool. Oh, I came up up here, and now I can just go back down here. There's a button here. That's very helpful. I'm just going to keep going for all these rooms just because I want to see if I missed anything else. Nothing down here but leaves. Anything down the other spot? Yeah, and a vegetoid. Hey, and Luke's. Oh, hello there. You sure like blinking a lot. Check. Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. Please don't pick on me. Luke's is staying right through you. Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty cool. You got that big... I honestly, not to be too rude, it's kind of weird, but yeah. Smells like eye drops. Spare. You won. Oh, I got a lot of gold. Maybe I need to double back to that Spire big cell. I might do that. I'll probably do that later after I end the video. Alright, moving on. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks the rotation perspective. Huh. What that means. Well, I kind of know what that means, but, you know. Alright. Let's see. If you can read this, press the blue switch. I, I think I got the idea where it's because as Markin's perspective, it's basically the exact same spot. It's basically the exact same position, but just at a different angle. So I just gotta kind of remember that. A pair of Vegetoids came out. Dinner. The king's gonna be very happy. Eat your greens. Fresh morning taste. Ah, 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 ah! Please don't. No Vegetoid ate my greens. Vegetoids here for your health. Ah, thank you. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but I wasn't weakened enough. Farm locally. Very locally. Uh, 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 uh. I need to keep focused. Vegetoid cackle softly. Kick, 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 something like that. I wouldn't know. Like, kick, kick, kick. I wouldn't know. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. 
Eat your greens. Oh, oh, oh. Well, screw you. I will go over there and take a bite out of both of you, but Sen wants to spare both of you. I am a very generous human. Alright, so what's going on here? Alright, I already done this. Moving on. If you can read this, press the red switch. Alright, this one is easy. Except there's another monster. Vegetoid and... Alright, so my gosp starts up. We want to get rid of the Vegetoid because my gosp doesn't like... Doesn't like there being other people around. Ah, uh, there we go. Just got it. Well, okay, I missed what he said, dang it, but he is happy now, and that's pretty cool. I don't want to talk. Hiya! Alright, he doesn't have much to say. Alright. Well, we're sparing you. Alright, yeah, we're doing nice. We're getting a lot of gold. I'm going to have to go back for that big sale later after I end this, let's, this episode. Alright. And for this one, oh boy. I think it's... Ah, no! A pair of Luke's society. Wait, what? Aw, oh, don't do that! You're picking on me? Bastard. Alright, we're not picking on you. I'm not picking on you. You're picking on me, but I'm not gonna pick on you. Luke's, don't pick on him. Oh, alright, it doesn't. What? What an eyesore. Hey, come on. I didn't pick on you. Luke's gnashes at see if I'm just sparing you. Get out of my sight. It's a switch. Press it. It's better be right. You hear a clicking sound. Ooh, I got it. Hey. I made it. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Hello, there's a fro another frog out here. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Huh? Frog gets scared to her. Oh, hello! This place looks nice. I wanna go here. Is this like a this like a city? I I maybe. You found the toy knife. Oh, I got a toy knife. Uh let's see if it has any benefit. Info. Toy knife. Weapon, attack three, made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. I'm not going to equip it because I am a very, very pacifist child. And let's add some defensive benefits, I don't really care. Oh dear. Oh, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> She's trying to call me. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I see. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. You don't say. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. All right, moving on. Hey, I should say, nerd. Okay, this is her house, all right. I think we'll end it here anyways. This has been going on for a while. Let's see. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Alright, 35 minutes? Yeah, we are wrapping up here. Alright. File saved. Alright, well that's it. I am Beast Mode Guns. I am really looking forward to continuing on with this adventure. And, well, I might need to cut this off. I think this has actually been going on for a little over 40 minutes. Around 40. I hope it's shorter, but anyways, regardless, so... You know, it, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not really... It'll probably be short if I cut out the grinding parts, certain grinding bits, but uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this, I am looking forward to what comes next, and I hope you will watch and continue to support. I cannot guarantee how frequently I will upload, but all you know, all there is to know is that I will be uploading, because it's Undertale, how can I not upload? So yeah, I'm Beast Mode Guns, and I shall see you in the next episode. Take care and stay determined.